Hey guys, welcome back to episode 3. For this episode, we're going to be doing the decals, the packaging, and the number plate. The first thing that I did was look at the actual car and the decals on it, and went on Google to find all the logos. The hardest part of this would have been to get the scaling right to match the whole wheel perfectly, but apart from that, it's pretty straightforward. This was a pretty long process, but after that, just go ahead and print it. On an A4 piece of paper, this should look really, really tiny. Cut around the decals very carefully, and then put double-sided tape on the back of it. Try not to leave black gaps on the side as it really makes the difference. Here I'm using tweezers just to make sure that I have more precision when applying it on. Personally, I really feel that the decals add a lot to the hot wheel and make it look more realistic. This is a template that I made a while ago, and for every new car I just recycle the template and add new photos. For the background, you can use pretty much anything that looks nice and matches the colour of your car. The rest of this is really just up to you in choosing the colours that you want. For this part, I'm changing the text to make sure that the car matches on the bottom of the hot wheel package. I'll be putting this template in the description below just for you guys to use. I'll also be putting this template off the back in the description below and all you gotta do is change the logo, the name of the car and add this if you wanted to. I'll also be putting this template in the description below but all you gotta do is change the logo, add the right car and possibly an illustration if you really want to. Once you finish scaling, you go ahead and print it on 300 GSM paper and cut it out carefully. Once you're done cutting, it should look like this and should match up perfectly. The next step is to put double sided tape on one of the backs. Peel it all off. Once you stick them together, you should get a thicker piece of cardboard and the back and the front should look exactly like an actual Hot Wheels packaging. The next step would be to use nail polish remover and a cotton pad to remove the plastic casing of another hot wheel case. This will ensure that it comes off without any residue. After that, put double sided tape on that, peel it off once again, and encase the car and you are finally done. Thank you for watching this series guys of the Widebody 86 V2. Comment down below what car you guys would like me to replicate in the next episodes and until then, remember to like and subscribe and share it around. Thank you for watching. Until then, see you next time.